This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar on multicam editing in Apple Final Cut Pro. Hi, this is Larry Jordan. In this short video excerpt, I'll show how to create virtual angles in a multicam clip to provide more diversity in shot selection. As well, I'll show how to create a montage using multicam. Let's create a new multicam clip by going here and selecting some stills. I'm going to do a multicam clip, which is this shot and this shot. No, we'll do this shot and this shot and um, this shot. So I've created some images, all of which are at least 2K and sometimes larger. I'm going to go up to File, and we're going to create a new multicam clip. And we're going to sync on start of the first clip and stills montage. There's no audio, and sync. Open it up. Okay, so there's my stills montage. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this clip and drag it over here, put this clip here, and drag this clip down, and drag this clip up. And notice that I've got multiple clips in, in, across the project right here. I don't want this track, so I'm going to delete that angle. Now, let's add a new angle here. What do I want to add? I know what I want to do. We'll add a new angle. I say add an angle. And we'll drag this clip down here. Copy it. Select this clip. And I'm going to zoom in 200%. So here's one angle of the trains. Uh, there we go. Trains crossing the desert. And here's another angle where it is a close-up shot of the trains crossing the desert. And we'll just change the horizontal position. There we go. So I now have a close-up of those engines. Okay? So as I play this back, now we'll get back out of here and edit this down to the timeline and play this back... What Dave is saying is that I now have this virtual angle in here. As I play it, there's my first shot. And then I'll go to... There it is. Where to go? There it is. And now I'll cut to this shot. And then I have a choice here. I can go to either the wide shot or I can go to the close-up. So it's the same angle, but I've zoomed this one in to be able to go from a wide shot to a close-up. Now what's really cool about this is notice that I now have this, this uh, montage built. If I select a clip, type Command-T, I've now added transitions from one shot to the next. I haven't worried about aspect ratio. But see how I can very quickly build a montage using a multicam clip, select between the different angles that I want to work with, and then have dissolves that go between them. Dave, thank you. I had forgotten about that. That is a really, really good tip. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on multicam editing in Apple Final Cut Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for webinar 336. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software when you update it multiple times each month. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.